Hey, glad you're here with me today. I'm Lee, and I want to talk to you today about some proper weight training and body techniques while you're in the gym to protect you from having any injuries while weight training or bodybuilding. And what is bodybuilding? Bodybuilding is what we do inside the gym. It's a lot of fun. It's a way to get in here, build up muscle mass, build up your strength and endurance, and have a great time doing it. It's all about building things up, increasing, and moving forward. Talking about that, it's also a great way to rehabilitate muscles that uh, have had injuries or had faults in some time that you want to rebuild and make them a little bit stronger. It's great. Gym's a lot of fun, and bodybuilding and weight training, it's a blast to do. Talking about that, training. Remember, training is what you put into it. If it's a lot of fun and you enjoy it, you'll be excited about going to the gym and weight training and feeling great about your exercises. But you gotta have a plan, and then with a good plan, you have to have knowledge of proper technique of your exercises that you plan on doing and the body parts you're, you're gonna attack. These are very important when you go to the gym. And remember, when you're at the gym and you're working out, if you start to feel pain, forget the old saying of no pain, no gain. You know you've heard that. We all have it one time or another. You don't want that. But you do want to go for that pump. You do want to go for that exciting thrill of the body's muscles filling with the fluids and the blood and the nutrition to rechange and grow in the muscle. Very important. That's what you look for in the gym. Not only that, let's talk about when you get in the gym and you're working in, you say, oh man, sometimes I get so sore, so sore, I just, I hurt. That you don't want. But now there's a difference. When you really do intense training, it's always good to get a little soreness or a little tenderness feel. But if you have a soreness that lasts for several days, that's probably not a good sign. So listen to your body. Remember, your body will talk to you, and only you yourself know your body. And you don't want this to happen to where you have an injury. You get set back, now you're out of the gym. Now you've, you're gonna lose what you've gained, and now you've gotta work twice as hard to get it back. So try to pay attention to your body. Let your body talk to you so you'll know what's too much or what's too little, and keep you moving forward. Because you don't wanna overtrain. If you overtrain, that means you're spending way too much time in the gym or you're doing way too much weight or too high reps or too low reps. So you gotta pay attention when you're in the gym. You gotta have a plan that I was saying earlier. With a good plan, you can increase and move forward and have fun with it. Oh, and one more thing. You want a good partner. If you've got a good partner, somebody that you can trust and somebody that you know has your back that will help you through those very intense reps to make sure that you get through there. Plus, it's a lot of fun when you have somebody there with you. Plus, it keeps you the integrity there so that you both show up at the gym when you say you're going to. Hey, I want to talk to you here in a little bit about shoulders and triceps. I'm going to give you three exercises today, basic exercises. And I'm going to show you proper technique for the exercise so you won't hurt your rotor cuff or your neck or your back. We're going to talk about proper positioning of the body to prepare to, before you ever touch the weight. And then I'm going to give you a rule of thumb. You stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Fruit, what a tasty treat. Fruits packed with potassium and other nutrients can help keep your heart pumping strong during the game. And they give you energy back so you can take on the next activity. Can your food do that? Run, throw, think, eat better. Find out more at smallstep.gov. I have Diff, uh, Jonathan Diffie here with me today. Jonathan Diffie and I are going to work out and show you a couple of exercises. But it's always good to have a great partner. If you have a really good partner that's with you, you have faith that he's got your back so that anytime you grab a weight and you're really having those really good intense workouts, that he's going to help you through those intense workouts to get all those reps in and to keep you going through your workout. And it's also keeps a lot of fun. All right, we're going to move into the barbell press now. The barbell press is all about the shoulders and the, and the trapezoids. Right here, we're going to concentrate on these two huge areas right here as well as the delts. This is your delts, this is your trapezoids. If you notice, uh, Jonathan has his hand placement just a little bit wider than his shoulders. And what we're going to do is he's going to bring this bar down, even with his chin, and then come right back up. But before he ever touches the weights, he's going to do one important thing. is He's going to get his chin up, his chest out, and his abdominals tight. What that does is that supports his back. 
That way he won't, have, won't cause any more injury or shouldn't cause any injuries to his back. But now he's prepared in his mind and his body, ready to press the weight resistance to make increasing changes in the muscle groups. And as Jonathan's going to demonstrate, he's going to demonstrate the slow movement down and slow movement up. In other words, you want to be like a machine. However fast you bring it down, it's the same speed you want to go up. That makes the positive and negative of the muscle movement to increase the muscle mass as well as the endurance of the muscle without tearing or ripping or causing any injury. Talking about that, we have a rule of thumb. If you can't do eight, you have too much weight. That's right, you've got too much weight. So always remember that. If you, if you can't do eight, that's, that means you've got too much weight. So you might want to take a little bit of the weight off. You could always slowly increase that weight back somewhere on down the road. But right now, we really want to concentrate on not causing any more injury, but enhancing the muscle tissue and making change and making growth. Jonathan Diffie is going to show us now how to do these exercises. There you go. Notice how he's keeping his chin up, his chest is out, his abdominals are tight. And if you notice across right here in his back, see how his deltoids and his traps are all really feeling full of blood. That's nutrition that's being filled into that blood area. And that's great. That's excellent exercise. And notice his technique. He's controlling. And at the same time, he's breathing. He's inhaling as the weight comes down in and exhaling as the weight goes up. Outstanding job. One more for me. And let's rack it up. Passing gas in the presence of others is not only inappropriate. That is so foul. It can be deadly. Passing gas releases a fog of carbon monoxide. Grandpa. And other poisonous fumes that can contribute to asthma and pneumonia. You're killing us over here. Kids shouldn't be exposed to secondhand smoke. Don't pass gas. Take it outside. Hey, welcome back. Remember, we just got through doing the barbell press. Now I want to show you another exercise that's really simple and easy to do. If done correctly and keeping you uh, from being involved with any accidents or strains or, or hurts, because remember, if you do, you've probably got too much weight. And remember the old rule of thumb? You got too much weight. You have too much weight. <laughs> that's right, you got too much weight. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple exercise called a shrug. This shrug is going to enhance the, tri uh, the uh, trapezoid area as well as the deltoid. Really enhancing it, putting a lot of blood in there to, to create a muscle growth in the muscle tissue as we put the strain on it. Remember, at the top of this exercise, he's going to actually hold this pose just for a slight second and then release. So you have a good positive and negative motion of the muscle when he does the exercise. I'm going to show you, uh, Jonathan's going to demonstrate for us here in front of us how to do this exercise. As Jonathan grabs the bar, he's going to get his hands a little bit wider than his shoulders as he did before on the barbell press. As he comes up, He's going to stand again with his chin up, his chest is out, his abdominals are tight. Now he's ready to lift the weights. The areas that we're going to target is the trapezoid and the deltoids. All he's going to do is straight up shrugs. He's just going to drive his shoulder straight up and straight down. So that's just a one and down. One and down. And you can see as he does his exercise, you can see these trapezoid and the deltoids of the, of the shoulders really enhancing the work. You can see that they're filling with blood as he does that range of motion. This is a great exercise, a wonderful exercise for the shoulders and the delts. And it's a simple exercise if done correctly. Remember, you can stop for me, please, sir. If, if you feel pain, you've got too much weight and you need to slow down, maybe not do the exercise, find something else to do. But this is a really good exercise if done properly. It's a great exercise to increase your shoulders and trapezoids. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you one more exercise that we get to do. What's that? Check it out, Dave. What do you got there, Dave? Looks like someone's thunder thighs. They must have lost them playing in the snow with their kids. Let's get back to work. Hey, welcome back. We just got through doing the shoulder shrugs. Now I want to introduce you to another exercise. This exercise is going to be using dumbbells instead of the barbell. This is a really good exercise to enhance the, tri uh, 
the trapezoid area as well as the shoulders. Uh, it's a great routine to finish up with. Some people like to call a polisher of your exercise to, fun, to finish up the group, but this is a really good exercise, if done properly again, to really enhance the shoulders. So we want to move forward. Now remember again, if, you, if you're feeling pain, stop the exercise. Maybe decrease the, exercise, uh, the weight of resistance or possibly even maybe step away from that exercise because we might not be doing it absolutely the right way. Remember, you always want to use proper technique and use your mirrors as well as a spotter. Remember, it's really nice to have a really good spotter with you at all times. Diffie's going to show us again how to do this exercise. And if you notice, when Diffie gets ready to grab the weights, he's just going to grab this, these dumbbells and he's going to hold them out to his side. Again, he's going to have his chin up, his chest is out, and his abdominals are tight. That means he's ready to lift the weights. He's going to keep his elbows slightly bent like he's hugging a tree. Okay, and when he comes up, he's going to just bring them up to his side, nice, smooth, and easy, and then right back down again. This is protecting his back all the way through the exercise and putting all the work here on his shoulders. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let's go. There we go. See how nice, smooth, and easy as he comes up, really squeezing at the top of those shoulders. And you can see as he does, his trapezoids and his deltoids are really filling with blood and really getting a nice pump in those shoulders. Good job, Diffie. Remember, when you do these exercises, always to have a good partner with you. When you have a good partner or a good spotter, you know you can get these reps and you know you can get through the exercise. Remember, this is kind of a polisher for while all we've done today. So review of what we've done today. We did the barbell press, bringing the bar down in front of you and back up. Nice, smooth, and easy and control. Always control your weight. The exercise number two we did, which was the barbell shrugs. Remember, it's kind of like the I don't know. It's just nice, smooth, simple exercise. But remember, always control the weight. Never jerk or bounce the weight around and always be ready when you get ready to grab the weight is keep that chin up, keep the chest up, keep those appetites that supports the back as well as your shoulders and possibly any other body parts as you prepare to lift the weight that way you're ready to go. You're ready to attack that weight and take on that resistance of the weight and make change to the body. And then we finished with this last exercise which was what I call a polisher, bar, uh, dumbbell lateral raises. So that gave you three exercises for shoulders Next week, we're going to talk about legs. I'm going to give you three more exercises for legs for proper technique and positioning of your body so you can always take care of your knees, your back, and your spine while you're weight training. And there's an old cardinal rule that we always talk about in bodybuilding, and that is if you can't do eight, too much weight. you've got too much weight. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.